Happy Monday, it's Maria here. Welcome to something different for the week ahead. And I've been, you know, waiting for the inspiration to come in and just examining what's going on for myself because I know, of course, that you know, the people that are around us are a mirror for what's going on for us. So if something's going on for me, the chances are uh, it's probably going on for you as well. And I'm really following along on my theme from last week about, you know, just believing when you believe something is wrong or not good, then it, it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. And what I've noticed in the last week, now that I'm back really studying all my Feng Shui material, um, you know, and really starting to, you know, I just have a different attitude towards my home. So instead of feeling like, oh my God, this doesn't support me, I'm feeling, oh my God, I love my home. And so the vibe is really changing here. But, you know, I've done some small tweaks because there were things that weren't in the right place, etc. And it's all very technical. But I just noticed there's this calm over me and there's this sense of like, it's all going to be okay, um, which is wonderful. So what I want to talk to you about today is just this idea of, you know, where we have conflicting thoughts and the conflicting thoughts can be like for me about my home. So on the one hand, I believed in initially that, you know, this was absolutely right for me and everything I did was blessed. And on the other hand, then I started to believe that it wasn't right. And there was all these corners missing and therefore loads of parts of my life weren't going to work out. And <coughs> excuse me. Um, you know, and so therefore I, what was going on was that one time I'd be believing this and listen to this and then I'd be going, it'd be all going around, just all this chatter in your head, conflicting chatter. And like all it does is lose you a whole load of really important energy that you could be channeling into something else. So my challenge this week is, you know, what are the things where you have conflict in your head about, you know, what are those things? And, you know, try and take the time just to write it all out, all the different stories. And then maybe find yourself a different story that allows you just to get rid of all the conflicting bits. So, for example, um, I have a dream for a holistic center and I've had this dream for a long time and plenty of people know about it. But I can remember many years ago sitting in Belvedere on the mezzanine, drinking my coffee and going, you know, just imagining it in my head, visualizing it and how it would be and all the people coming. And then immediately, like I was going, oh, no, I can't do this. And it was because immediately I could feel I don't want to be managing all those aspects because that wouldn't be me doing what I'm meant to be doing. And so then I started thinking, no, no, no. OK, so I'll get a manager to manage the whole thing. And then I was going, oh, no, I don't want somebody else managing me. So then I sat back into it again. And I was going, OK, so I have a manager managing all the aspects, but that manager reports to me. And then, so then I was completely at peace with it, um, if that makes any sense. I hope that helps you, right? So the, it can be something to do with where you've got this dream and it's a knowing that it's what you're here to do, but you can't see your way forward because of a whole lot of stories. Um, or it could be something like, you know, where you're, you've got conflicting information about something. Uh, and just to get into that space of working out, and it was interesting because when I went looking for the card, it was actually the top of the packet. It's like, what is my truth? That's really what it's about. So the other thing I'd advise you to do as well, and it's something I'm working on all the time here, is just to go and to declutter. And one of the things doing my Feng Shui homework um, was, you know, what are the things that you've inherited that you don't like? So I had to go to a press in my back kitchen where I've inherited like china and um, pots and stuff that I was guilted into taking basically. And actually, do you know what the amazing thing was? When I got up there and looked at it, the pot was from my granny's house. It's now in my porch at my hall door. Um, and I thought, oh no, the china is actually beautiful and I do want to keep it. I'll work out some something to do with it later. So already, you know, what? where I was often feeling, oh my God, I was like manipulated in, into taking that. I now actually am at peace with that as well. So that's another thing uh, that I've sorted out in the week. So look, I hope you have a great week and I hope in some way that this little piece of information for me will help you in your week ahead and in your journey. So until we meet again, have a great week. Take care. Bye.